This Swiss made phone was designed from the ground up to protect your privacy. It's the Punkt MCO2 and it's currently available in the US and across several countries across the world. It costs $749 or 699 euros. This is what you should know about it. The Punkt's hardware specs don't really matter here, but I'll point out that it has a 5,500 mAh battery, a 3.5 mm headphone jack, and micro SD card support. The biggest talking point here is Apostrophe OS. It's a Graphene OS fork made by another Swiss-based company that puts you in charge of your privacy and your data. It's based on Android 13 and comes with a suite of Apostrophe apps, calendar, contacts, files, emails, and tasks. All of that data is stored on Apostrophe servers in Swiss Switzerland and it's protected by GDPR and HIPAA. But you only get one year free, after which you have to pay 15 Swiss francs per month. I guess that's the price of privacy. If you want to use more apps, there are three ways to do it. First, you can just grab the APK file somewhere you trust and sideload it. And second, you can use Apostrophe's own store with an FDroid repository. Or you can use the built-in Google mobile services wizard to install the Google Play Store and grab some apps there. The Google environment is sandboxed. So you don't need to worry about third-party apps catching your data unless you specifically give them the permission to. Plus, every single app I install on the phone has a ledger that fully controls it. I can give every app a privacy allowance from one to five. At five, the ledger stops it completely from connecting to the internet, denies it all permission, and stops it from accessing hardware like the GPS, the camera, and the microphone. The ledger can also reduce the carbon footprint of every app, and that's by stopping its background processes and optimizing its battery use. And then when you're just ready to throw caution to the wind and go online, there's a built-in and private VPN and DNS. If you value your privacy and personal data, the Punkt MCO2 has an interesting proposition, but I just got my hands on it today, so I won't know more until I've tested it. So don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority if you want to catch that review, and let me know in the comments if this is something you're really interested in.